Well, not everything I said on the 1st of April was bullshit. Gaming magazines and commentators have speculated for a long time if Counter-Strike Global Offensive will be ported to the Source 2 engine, and the clues are getting more and more. And now it appears as if it has been confirmed that it's happening. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is currently being released to the Chinese market, and during a presentation this was shown on the stage. Brand new Source 2 engine and Panorama UI. Now I am kind of hyped, especially for Source 2. By the way, Panorama is Valve's name for their panel-based UI framework, which is used in Dota 2, so a UI overhaul is apparently also coming to Source 2. But they have been speaking about that for quite some time. They um, have been talking about implementing Source 2 step by step. Another important thing to many players, Valve is testing 128 tick servers in China, so hopefully it will be just a matter of time till they get released to the rest of the world. Valve is apparently also working on a new artificial intelligence-based anti-cheat system, but not much is known about that. I assume most interesting to many players will be the new tick rate and the new engine. Porting the game to Source 2 promises slightly improved visuals and the ability to vastly improve visual effects in the future. The game will be able to run a lot smoother, though it will have higher minimum requirements. I already heard complaints from people who sadly have to rely on a laptop or a generally a bad computer. The Source 1 engine the game is currently running on dates back to the early stages of Half-Life 2's development in the 2000s, so it is quite old. It is a 32-bit system, and the new 64-bit system of the Source 2 engine should be a vast improvement and make the game run a lot smoother. Furthermore, the sound quality should be improved as well in regards to, well, surround sound. Adding to that, improved physics. The original Source engine is relying on the Havoc physics engine, and without a doubt it has proven its worth, but Source 2 utilizes a new physics engine called Rubicon. This means that physics in CSGO could change a little, player models falling down in a bit more realistic way, but also grenades behaving differently when being thrown. A friend of mine was already pretty hyped, and so are a lot of magazines. Man, have you seen the Source 2 engine being added this summer? And to that, reworking Dust 2? Source 2 Dust 2 must be so sweet! Uh, hold your horses there. Uh, I am a bit skeptical if Source 2 will be released this summer. I mean, I would love to be wrong on this, but I am a bit skeptical, considering, you know, Valve time. And the fact that this is Valve's third engine. It will probably take a while. I would love to see the changes this summer, but I am trying not to get too hyped about it. And speaking of this summer, a list of maps for the coming operation is in the description down below. So what do you guys think of these coming changes? Tell me in the comment section down below. So see you guys next time. Till then, check out some of our other videos. The cut content of Counter Strike series seems to be interesting to a lot of people, so that might strike your fancy as well. Speaking of cut content, I recently had a conversation with a friend from Counter-Strike Wiki about cut content, Counter-Strike spin-offs, and we even came across a bunch of other topics like female player models and video game marketing in China. So watch out for that, I wanna have it up by Sunday. Have a nice day, and as always, goodbye and guten Tag.